Hello, Scorpio. These messages are for November 18th through November 25th, 2023. I will never, ever solicit you guys or DM you. I have only this one account, no backups. Please be sure you're following only this account. There's multiple accounts on of me online. So just be aware of that and be sure you're following so you can get weekly free messages just like this one and follow me on my other platforms like YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. Let's get into it. What do you need to know for the week, Scorpio? What do you need to know about the energy around you, about what's going on, maybe in terms of healing? Let's see what we need to know. So we have dangerous passion, red as a bleeding heart. So to me, I feel like this is kind of like, almost like a clock reminder or like a reminder of maybe time that you have spent worrying about something that you couldn't change or time spent worrying on, you know, solutions or trying to come up with solutions and no solutions have come. So I feel like it's like lost time. Um, I feel like you may be wasting your time with people or meaningless tasks or certain people are like taking up too much of your time. Um, it could be that, you know, you feel like you want to put more time on you and you're achieve like working towards achievements and working on yourself, but somehow you always get distracted or you always get wrapped up into other people's problems or you always get wrapped up into people's like dramas. And I feel like you are a very passionate person and you do become like deeply invested with people and you become deeply like attached and, you know, you get like the attachment to results and, you know, you want answers and, you know, if someone was hurting someone you love, you're going to want to go to war for that person or you're going to want answers for that person. You might like run yourself into the ground. So there's something with like spending your time the right way or where do you spend your time? Like, um, or how could you spend your time better or more efficiently or make schedules or time limits for things and time limits for people, especially the people who drain you and make you feel, you know, kind of like crap after you talk to them. Um, you gotta be aware of like energy vampires. So um, I feel like you also may be, trying to like refill yourself. Like, I feel like you feel empty. Like you've poured yourself into a lot of people and a lot of circumstances and a lot of situations and a lot of things. And you haven't like been able to replenish yourself. So I feel like once you give yourself this time or like call your power back or call your energy back to you and realize maybe who's a waste of time or what's a waste of time or what you could put your time in that will be more productive or more effective for you, you're going to focus on that. And I feel like you'll be able to kind of like, I don't know, forgive the time that you feel like you lost, if that makes any sense. Um, like if this was a relationship, you might be angry at the time you spent with this person or on this person. Um, but you won't get it back and staying angry about it doesn't help either. So I feel like you might be letting go. Um, a good affirmation here is I use my time at best. I avoid wasting it, losing it, and I savor every second of this precious life that I've been given. All right, what else do you need to know? So we've got by healing, you heal by releasing, not suppressing. So again, I feel like there's like... You might have to forgive like wasted time or time that was wasted in the past or, you know, forgive some, some aspect of a difficult situation or, you know, kind of try to look past it or release the negative feelings. It could be like, you know, maybe somebody owes you an apology, but, you know, you're kind of stewing on it and you're, you know, really, really on it. But, you know, maybe deep down you might not get that apology, but you know, holding on to the regret and the, the the anger and like the bad feelings about it is not helping you. Um, I feel like if you let some of this go, this is major growth for you. And if you kind of learn how to better manage your, manage your time, so you like won't have like more stress, 
and less triggers and I feel like just more time for you is just the overall theme but you're also meant to release something you're meant to forgive something and not suppress it you're meant to let like the darker feelings surface and deal with them and give yourself permission to express yourself and feel the feelings so the energy can move and break up this stagnant energy love and light check back next week